One state lawmaker who was not on the Hill for most of the day was Representative Glenn Cassida. He was called before the state board that oversees campaign and election spending. News Channel 5 investigates first raised questions about how the former House Speaker spent tens of thousands of dollars given to his powerful political action committee. Investigative reporter Jennifer Kraus was there as Cassida tried to explain the mistakes he made. This has been a learning process. I got to be honest with you guys. Glenn Cassida said he's made mistakes, but he promised state regulators he's worked hard to fix them. News Channel 5 investigates first raised questions last year about how the then House Speaker was spending campaign donations and money given to his political action committee, CASPAC, and whether it appropriately was being spent on food and beverage expenses. A review of the audits of Representative uh, Glenn Cassida's campaign account. That prompted the Tennessee Registry of Election Finance to launch two separate audits, one into Cassidy's personal campaign account and the other of his PAC. And as they met due to COVID-19 restrictions at a hotel in Franklin, board members heard the findings of those two inquiries. Auditor Jay Meck said Cassidy was cooperative and turned over all the records they'd requested. And after he discovered that he'd mixed up accounts, Meck said the Williamson County Republican went back and corrected his errors. If we said something wasn't itemized, he's gone back and itemized it. If a category is misreported, he's gone back and reported it. Meck said the problems with Cassidy's campaign account were relatively minor. But his political action committee, CASPAC, was another story. The audit found nearly 300 charges with no receipts or any other documentation, totally nearly $100,000. What they say in the courtroom, uh, ignorance of the law is not an excuse. But I was just under the impression if it was under $100, I didn't need a receipt. And uh, it has led to a whole, whole, whole host of problems. Most of the money appeared to have been spent on food and hiring campaign workers, but there's no record of who they were campaigning for or what exactly they did. CASPAC also paid a number of consulting groups, which the auditor said he could find very little information about. Board members were clearly troubled by this. The failure to report is a, an evasion, whether it's intentional or not, it's an evasion of the reporting requirement, of the disclosure requirement, of the the rules that are put in place so that the public knows what's being spent on, on political campaigns. The registry appeared all set to impose a $10,500 fine on Cassida when they realized that procedurally they couldn't do that at this meeting. So they postponed that part of the process to their next meeting. You've learned something, I hope. Yes, yes, yes. Don't want to go through this again. Yeah. <laughs> Understood. Jennifer Krauss reporting. Now, former lawmaker Jeremy Durham had also been asked to appear before the registry today, but he did not show up. The registry had fined Durham $465,000 for repeatedly violating campaign spending laws. But last year, an administrative law judge slashed that fine to just over $100,000. Today, the registry voted unanimously to reject that ruling, saying the judge overstepped his authority.